Hi, um, I'm Sophie. I'm an engineer at Monzo Bank in London in the UK. Um, I'm going to talk about the power of the community and how it's helped me and also how it can help you. Um, so the way I see it, I see the wider tech community as being made up of three kind of parts. So there's my work community, my online community, and my community of people at meetups and conferences just like this. And I'm going to talk through what these are, um, explain how they help me, and also give you some tips on how to make the most of them. Um, so my work community consists of people I've worked with, people I work with now, people I work with in the past. Um, they've got so much experience and uh, different backgrounds from me. Um, and so having learned from them over the past like four years, I kind of, I've, I've learned so much about things I wouldn't even have any idea about because you know they've been engineering for longer than me or they came into engineering in a different way from me. And um, I started my career in a really big company with a lot of people who had been there for a very long time. Um, and they had a lot of set ways of doing things that hadn't changed in years. And you know, people come along and say, oh, let's, let's do it this way. And people say, oh, no. Um, and we actually brought in a lot of contractors, which you know, the people who had been there forever didn't approve of. But it, working with them was actually eye-opening, because I got to learn so much about what other companies were like and how other people did things. And you know, I made friends with them. I stayed in touch. And when it was time for me to look around elsewhere, those people and some of my old colleagues were able to give me advice because they'd worked with me and they knew what I was like and they knew what I would like. So when it comes to building your work community, make sure that you bring yourself to work. So be honest, be genuine and people will really appreciate that and they will do the same. Um, meet as many people as you can. So at Monzo, we've got a Slack channel that pairs you up randomly with a new person each week. And what this is great for is just finding out more about how your company works and finding out what different people do. And stay in touch with people when they leave or when you leave. Um, your network will just widen and widen, and um, you never know where you or they might end up. So about the online community, chances are some of us are on some kind of social network. I'd put money on it that it's Twitter. Um, but you don't have to do this. But it, for me, it was a game changer. I used to stay away from Twitter until I, so someone pointed out to me that it's a bit like radio. You can tune in whenever you want to. Um, and so I posted a tweet asking for advice because I was giving my first ever talk last year and I got so many replies of such amazing information that I turned it into a blog post and then turned that into a talk, bonus. So I've learned so much from people on these different social media platforms. And if Twitter's not your thing, you could try an online community like Ada's List or Dev.2, Code Newbie or their various Slack or Discord groups. Um, my tip for that is share interesting uh, content that you see. It doesn't have to be your own stuff, but it will spark conversations. And it's all about post quality, not quantity. So don't post lots and lots and lots hoping that people will pay attention. Post a few times, but really good stuff. Or really terrible jokes go down very well as well. And finally, the thing I, th I think has had the most profound effect on my own professional development is meeting people at meetups and conferences just like this. Some of them are in this room right now. Um, they help me to build up a network of friends that I can talk to about the industry, about salaries, which is a really important thing to talk about, um, what it's like where they work, um, and just understanding what the industry was like in my area. Um, so these friends helped me realize that I was actually being really underpaid at my last job. And so when it came to applying for a new job, I knew the kind of figures that I should be asking for. And mentoring at workshops like Code Bar, which has just started here in Berlin, was fantastic for strengthening my own self-belief and for dealing with the imposter syndrome that I feel like is inevitable in this industry. And companies can often be very singular in their culture, so it's important to meet other people in the same area as you so you understand what other places are like. And it's really easy and rewarding to give back to the community as well, whether it's by giving talks, mentoring other people, or even just getting your company to host a meetup. I chose my current, com current company, Monzo, partly because it hosts so many meetups and it's really community-minded. To sum up, I owe these communities so much. They help me to understand where I want to go and how to get there. Um, and I'm now in a role that I absolutely love in a, co in a company I never dreamed I could work for. And I'm just having a great time. And it's because of these people. So thank you to the people that I've worked with who helped me grow and helped me move on. Thank you to the people online who boosted my signals and got me loads of really amazing advice and retweeted my terrible jokes. 
And thank you to the people in this community who have supported me along the way and got me to where I am today. And I'm always happy to talk about this. So you can find me on Twitter. I've got two underscores in my username. Or you can come and find me after this. Thank you very much.